Hi Bestie, welcome back to the channel. It's Saturday, so it's shitty horror movie review. Which, honestly, if I'm being 100% honest, I love doing these videos. I love horror, I love shitty horror, I love shitty reviews. Bring it all together. Okay, um, I watched The Wretched, which came out last year and it's available to stream on Hulu. This video is not sponsored. They do not know me. Um, the director is uh, Brett Pierce and Drew Pierce, and they also wrote it. It stars John... Wow, that is not going to work for me because I can't see the whole names. Let me... We have John Paul Howard as Ben, Piper Kurda as Mallory... Uh, Zara, Zara, I like that version of Sarah, Zara Mahler as Abby, and then, um, we've got another Sarah named, uh, who's played by AZ, Tesfai, Tesfa. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, I'm really sorry, she did a great job though, and then a bunch of other people, you can look it up, y'all, you can look it up. Basically, this movie is really simple. It's got a very simple plot. It has a very simple layout, but all of it is super effective. I, spoilers, there's gonna be spoilers, okay? So get ready for that. But my mini review, straight off the bat, if you don't wanna know anything else and you just wanna know, should I watch it? Yes, you should watch it. I really enjoyed this movie. I literally just stopped watching it, so. Um, go ahead and go watch it and then come back and, and watch my review and let me know in the comment section, did you agree with me? If you've already watched this movie or you don't care about spoilers, let's jump in. Um, this movie really reminded me of Fright Night a lot. Like, it is Fright Night with a demon witch instead of a vampire. And if you like Fright Night, you're going to like this movie. There's a lot less cat and mouse play. That, in Fright Night, the vampire plays with Charlie a lot more. Charlie, right? I think so. Um, that's funny because I've not seen that movie in a long time, but I'm a big fan. And I, I even enjoyed the remake, although the campiness of the original cannot be beat. So, um, this movie centers around a, a teenage boy who is, um, his parents are going through some shit, right? A classic, classic story. And he is, his dad works at this marina. This, the name of the town or place that they're in is never really referenced, so I don't know. And I even looked a couple places to see if I could find it. I have no idea. But they, he works at this marina, and um, the kid, what is the kid's name? You guys know I suck at names. Ben is going to uh, spend the summer there with his dad and work at the marina. And you know his mom probably needs a break. Trust me, as a mom, I know it's nice to have somewhere for the kids to go for a little while in the summer because it's a lot, right? Um which you love your kids, but like my kids used to go hang out at my mom's house for a month in the summer. And I loved that, even though honestly, it was probably a huge mistake. <laughs> anyway, um, and he notices right away something wrong with the neighbor. Okay. And there is something wrong with the neighbor that I don't recall seeing what actually call oh right i do know what it was the um the mom next door she's got two kids and a husband the mom's name is abby abby we all already talked about her and the dad's name is ty and um she hits a deer and when she goes outside because she's like i'm not gonna she says she's fine and the truck is fine but deer are huge, and if you hit a deer hard enough to kill it, I think it would do damage to your truck and maybe to you. 
So I correct me if I'm wrong about that out there, people who live near deer, because I am not an expert, but I, I, I know I've heard some stuff. Okay. So you let me know. Um, she hits the deer and so she decides she's going to gut it and skin it and they're going to, you know, freeze the meat and eat meat, right? Eat some deer meat. She's used to being out in the country and out in the woods and she is, and it is very wooded here too. It's not just water. I mean, it's a, I, I can't, I think it's a lake. I don't think it's the ocean. So I, I don't know where this place is, but it was really pretty. Okay. So, um, when she guts it, like gross shit comes out. And I mean grosser than normal. Guts are supposed to come out. Gross things are supposed to come out. But gross things you can use, right? Gross things you can eat. Not gross things that make you vomit. Although, well, it might make you vomit too. I think if society took a crap and the first few times I had to gut something, I would probably vomit. You harden up after that, like I have, I have, you know, cut apart a chicken and stuff. And the first time I ripped one of those bad boys apart, I was a little, oh wow, this is crazy. But you know, you grow, you, you suck it up. And, but this was like putrid. It was like this deer had been through some shit. And then when they go inside to get cleaned up, because clearly they're just going to get rid of the deer, something comes out of it. And after it comes out of it, it infects the mom. And then the mom starts doing some stuff. Uh, I don't really want to say exactly what, okay? Because it is startling. You should deal, you should accept and deal with it on your own. If you've not watched the movie and you're still here, if you are, have already watched the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and here's the thing. Every time she... does what she does she makes she makes everyone forget about the person that she's killed and she's definitely killing people but oh I feel like I don't want to say the words okay but she's definitely eating people okay and the grossest most oh, terrifying part of the movie is when she is eating someone and that sound and the slurping and the chomping it is super disturbing. Like, I don't, oh, it's just, there's disturbing and then there's ultra disturbing. And that she always goes for children makes it worse. Okay, there, I've said it. She's eating kids. Okay. Oh, that was hard to get out. Okay, I've got to finish this video because I'm going to run out of room. So... The kid next door is figuring everything out. He's like, I know this bitch is cray, and he's watching her. Nobody believes him, just like Fright Night. But what is going on with this witch <clears throat> is that she's wearing people like a suit. And in that respect, it sort of reminded me of Men in Black. So it's like Fright Night with a swirl of Men in Black, right? And so that is the whole plot of the movie. Kid lives next door to a demon witch who's wearing people and eating kids. And from there, it's just a matter of how he is, how is he going to stop her? Okay. And does he really stop her? Okay. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. There was never a moment where I was like, is this going to be over soon? Should I scroll on Facebook? I was engaged the whole time. Not because it was a deep plot. Not because it wasn't a story that we've seen before. But because it was a story we've seen before done so well. And it takes something that feels really familiar and adds a new twist on it. And I really enjoyed it. There's a, a demon tree and kids being eaten by the tree for their sustenance and feeding the tree. Uh, there is a lot of good in this movie. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a three and a half. I, I want to inch up to four, but you know what? To hell with it. I'm going to inch up to four. I really enjoyed this movie. The writing was good. It was not 
you know, excellent. We're not going five or anything. But it, it oh, I liked it. In the end, it was satisfying how it ended. And then, or how you think it ended was satisfying. And then when the realization comes over you at the end that maybe you're not really getting the ending you thought you were getting, I loved it. This movie is fantastic. Okay, guys, let me know in the comment section what did you think of The Wretched. I really enjoyed it, clearly. I, I, will, I will definitely consume it again. Well worth my time this Halloween season. I hope that this video was well worth your time, and if you thought that it was, maybe give it a thumbs up and a share, and don't forget to click my subscribe button. And if you really liked it, don't forget to ring the bell. We will see you next time, besties. Thank you so much. I am going to vlog later today. Uh, as you can tell, I'm feeling a little more human than I, I had been. So we'll have a little chat and I'm going to figure out my mantra, do a little alming it out and some yoga. And I'll be back to chat, <laughs> chat with you later. I've also got to finish my nails. So, um, uh, Got a lot of work to do today.